Hi everyone and welcome to the Ren in the Wild blog. This is New Year's Day here in Edinburgh in Scotland. It's the 1st of January 2021 and it is the most stunning day. Um, you can probably hear the um, kids sledging in the background. I'm at the top of Castorfin Hill um, which has beautiful views over Edinburgh. You can just see there. So I came up here a couple of days ago and noticed um, all the beautiful yellow flowers on the gorse and I had this book and I wanted to research a bit more about gorse and this book talks about, well it's called Scottish Plants for Scottish Gardens. The dense growth is excellent cover for small birds and the prickles protect nest sites. The flowers have a rich coconut smell which attracts honeybees and bumblebees to feed on the pollen. The thorns are food for the caterpillars of the green hair streak butterfly. Just be really careful if you do smell them because the thorns are super, super spiky. Um, I'll try and zoom in so you can kind of see thorns. So I'm going to go on a bit of a further walk around and we'll see what plants and animals we can see today. I hope you enjoy the vlog. I really wanted to do this for ages so I thought what better day to start than New Year's Day on a sunny gorgeous day like today. So I went about 10 metres and I think I've already found another specimen in the book. So this is silver birch, a common pioneer. It's a deciduous tree of dry soils which may reach 30 metres in 50 to 60 years. In terms of wildlife, it's one of the most valuable trees for wildlife, supporting 230 species of insects including buff tip moths and sawflies. The caterpillars of these in summer and the seas in autumn attract tits, goldfinches, siskins and red poles and in May leaves unfold and develop into a triangular wedge shape with double tooth margin. Male and female catkins occur. The male appear in autumn but only release the wind blown pollen when the females emerge and ripen the leaves. So this is hawthorn and it's one of the most important shrubs for wildlife, providing food for 150 insect species including yellowtail moth, hawthorn shieldbug and many nect feeding flies. In hard winters it feeds many visiting red wings and field fares. So I've just come across um, quite a lot of rubbish that someone's left, which is not cool. Um, obviously had some sort of picnic or maybe even a bonfire. Um, there's another bag over there. 
There's actually three bags worth of rubbish. Um, so I'm gonna pick it all up and take it with me, um, which is a faff, but I'd rather not leave it here um, because that would suck for the wildlife. There's actually more rubbish here. I'm gonna pick up what I can. <sighs> so I made sure I wore gloves, but I've just picked up four bags worth of rubbish that was just left on here and it, it could really harm the wildlife. So I'm gonna traipse home with that. And this is not how I thought the first vlog would go, but that's life, isn't it? And yeah, it just sucks that you've got to pick up other people's mess sometimes. Um, but there'll be plenty of opportunity to do um, more beautiful walks around the hill and many, many other parts of Edinburgh and the UK. Um, and I can't wait to do that. So I'll sign off now and I wish you all an amazing New Year's Day and 2021. And let's just hope it's a heck of a lot better than 2020 was. Okay, bye.